Hi everyone, this is Mabich. For today, we will be talking about division of polynomials. Division of polynomials, this topic is divided into two. First one is the division of polynomial by monomial, and the second one is the division of polynomial by polynomial. So let's proceed with the first one. Division of polynomial by monomial. Missing monomial, we have only one term. Okay, okay so let's have an example. So for example, we have number one, 12x raised to 4 minus 16x cubed plus 8x squared divided by 4x squared. What is the first thing that you need to do? Let's identify how many terms we have in our dividend. So, but first, what is the dividend? The dividend is written here, this one, and then in the denominator, we have the divisor. This one is the dividend, the whole numerator, and then the denominator is our divisor. Okay, so we will identify how many terms. We will count the terms here in the dividend. How many terms do we have? Okay, so we have here 12x raised to 4. Okay, so we have 12x raised to 4. And then we have negative 16x cubed. So we have negative 16x cubed. And then we have positive 8x squared. Positive 8x squared. So we will split the dividend according to their to its term. So how many terms do we have? We have three terms. Next step is we will divide in all the terms our divisor. So we have 4x squared. So 12x raised to 4 divided by 4x squared. Negative 16x cubed divided by 4x squared. And then positive 8x squared divided by 4x squared. So now that we are done dividing, Writing 4x squared as the divisor of all the terms in our dividend. So let's proceed with division. So don't forget the loss of exponent when dividing. Okay, so we will divide the numerical coefficient. We have 12 divided by 4. So if you are struggling with dividing uh, integers, so you can use skip counting. So we will use 4. So skip counting by 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16 until we reach the highest value in the numerator. So we have here 16. So we will stop at 16. Okay, let's have 12 divided by 4. 1, 2, 3. So we have 3. So since they are same sign, so the answer is positive. Then we have x, x, copy x. Ayan. Oh wait. Magawin natin yung kulay para mas madaling madetermine. So we have here 3x. And then what we need to do with our exponent, exponent, we will subtract. So we have here 4 minus 2. We have 2. Okay. Next. The next term is negative 16 divided by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Until we reach 16. Okay. We have 4. But negative and then positive, the answer is negative. Different sign. Okay? Next, x and then x. We have x. 3 minus 2, we have 1. Okay, so we will erase 1 here because imaginary number na lang yung 1 natin. Okay, next, we have positive, positive. So we have positive. 8 divided by 4, 4, 8. So we have 2. x, 2 minus 2, we have 0. Kapag 0 na yung exponent natin, automatic, we will cancel out x raised to 0. So ang matitira na lang is 2. So we have here positive so the answer is 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So this is your final answer. So you will combine, we have 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So this is your answer, not 3x squared alone, negative 4x, and then positive 2. So the whole polynomial is your answer. Okay, next natin, let's have another example. Okay, let's have number 2. Number 2, we have 24y raised to 5 plus 16y raised to 4 minus 8y cubed divided by 2y squared. Okay, so we have here, let's separate. 24y raised to 5, positive 16y raised to 4, negative 8y cubed. So, again, we have three terms. Then divided by, the divisor is positive 2y squared. So we have 2y squared, 2y squared, 2y squared. Okay, let's proceed with division. Okay, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, all the even numbers we have. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and then we have 24. Okay, let's proceed with division. 24 divided by 2, we have 12. And then y, y, let's copy y, y. 5 minus 2, we have 3. Okay, next, the other term, positive and then positive here. So the answer will be positive. 16 divided by 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have positive 8, and then copy y, we have 4 minus 2. That is 2. Then negative, positive. So the answer is negative, different sign. Okay, we have 4, y, 3 minus 2, we have 1. Again, when the exponent is 1, that will be imaginary. So the answer is, we have 12y cubed plus 8y squared minus 4y. So this is now the final answer. Okay, next let's proceed with number 3. Okay, number 3. So we have here 15x raised to 4y cubed all over negative 5 x squared y cubed, okay? So since 
our numerator or dividend is only one term, a monomial, so we will proceed with dividing the numerical coefficient. So let's divide. 15 divided by negative 5. So that is different sign, negative. And then we have here 15 divided by 3, that is 3. Negative 3. And then we have here x, copy, 4 minus 2, that is 2. And then we have y, 3 minus 3, that is 0. So again, we will cancel out the variable with 0 exponent. So the answer is negative 3x squared. So this is now the final answer. Next, number 4. Let's have example number 4. So example number 4, what if we have, let's say, 10 x squared minus 5x divided by, let's say, negative 5. Okay, again, first step, we need to split the dividend. So we have positive 10x squared and then negative 5x. We only have two terms. Okay, divided by our divisor, which is negative 5, negative 5, and then negative 5. Okay, let's proceed with division. 10 divided by negative 5, that is negative different sign the answer is negative and then x squared we will copy x squared since negative 5 doesn't have a literal coefficient okay so we have x raised to 0 here actually but since x raised to 0 we will cancel that out okay so we have negative 2 x squared and then we have negative 5 divided by negative 5 that is positive 1 and then again bring down x okay since the numerical coefficient is positive 1 we will erase 1 so that will become imaginary so the answer is negative 2 x squared plus x okay so we're done with dividing polynomial by monomial. Again, when we say monomial, it only has one term. Okay, one term. Next, proceed tayo with lesson number 28, which is division of polynomial by binomial. Okay, let's have number one. So, but remember, in dividing polynomial by binomial, you have to remember the cycle. So, what cycle? Okay, number one. 2x squared plus 5x minus 42 divided by x plus 6. So... Paano natin nagawin yan? Again, first step natin, kailangan nasa standard form. So, let's check. 2, imaginary 1, and then 0. So, we're done with step number 1. Step number 2, you have to write that in long division. Long division. Okay? So, this one is our dividend. And then, this one is our divisor. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, let's have the division symbol. Long division. The dividend inside x to x squared plus 5x minus 42. Okay, and then the divisor is written outside the symbol x plus 6. Okay, since we're done with having the long division method, let's proceed with step number 3. Step number 3, the cycle. The dead monkey smells bad. Letter D, divide. Ano yung i-divide natin? Of course, we will divide the first term. Okay, divide. First term. Okay, ano yung po ba yung first term natin? Sa dividend natin, ito yung first term natin, yung nasa unahan. And then sa divisor natin, again, yung nasa unahan, we have x. So, how are we going to divide that? So, let's say, letter D, or divide. We have 2x squared divided by x. Okay, we know that we have here an imaginary 1. Imaginary 1 and imaginary 1 in our exponent. Therefore, the answer is 2 divided by 1, that is positive. Okay, we have 2. And then x divided, x squared divided by x, that is x. 2 minus 1, that is 1. Okay, that will be imaginary. Then, we will put that 2x here. 2 x. Okay, dapat katapat niya yung parehas niya ng literal coefficient. We have x and then x here. Okay, next natin, letter m. So, m is multiply. Alam nyo, i-multiply natin all the divisor, all the terms in the divisor. Okay, so we will multiply 2x to our divisor which is x plus 6. So, we will use the distributive property. A reminder, when we multiply, we will add the exponent. Okay, letter m. Multiply. So, again, we will multiply 2x and then our divisor is x plus 6. So this one, we will multiply by x, and we will multiply by positive 6. Okay, so we have here 2x times x, that is, may imaginary 1 tayo dito, imaginary 1, imaginary 1. We will add the exponent. So we have here 2 times 1, that is 2. And then x, imaginary 1, imaginary 1, we have squared. Okay, so m. So the first step is divide, so we natin exponent. Second step is multiply, i-add naman natin exponent. Plus, okay, we have 2 times 6, we have 12. Since yung 6, wala na siyang katabing x, we will bring down yung katabing x naman yung 2. So, we have here 2x squared plus 12x. Saan natin ilalagay? So, dito po natin ilalagay. We have 2x squared plus 12x. Okay, now we're done with the multiplication. Next step is letter s, which means we will subtract. Okay, but in subtraction, always remember that we have kcc add or keep change change and then add. Okay, let's have the subtraction symbol. Okay, we will subtract. But here, let's put parentheses. 2 is positive. We have positive 12. Keep change change. So minus it will become plus. And then positive will become negative. Positive will become negative. Then let's proceed with addition. Okay. We have here 2 and negative 2. So automatically we will cancel that out because the answer is 0. Okay, let's proceed here. We have 5x minus rather plus negative 12x. So we will use pera, utang, pera, and utang. 
May pera kang 5 pesos, may utang kang 12, pagdibayad ka ng 12, may matitira pa rin sa'yo na utang na negative 7. Next. Okay? Next. Letter B. Which means you have to bring down kung ano man yung matitira. Okay, bring down. We have negative 42. So, we have here negative 42. Okay? Next. We will repeat the cycle. Okay, repeat. So, proceed ulit tayo with division. Alin? Yung first term ulit. So, we have negative 7 divided by yung first term ulit natin dito. Divided by x. Okay? So, negative 6. 7x divided by x. So that is, okay, I will write this now. Negative 7x divided by x. So, imaginary, imaginary. Dito pa lang, pwede na natin i-cancel. Cancel natin yung x, cancel natin yung x. Kasi 0 naman yung magiging exponent nila. Ang magigila na lang is negative 7. So, we have here, negative 7. Okay? Then, let's again multiply. Multiply natin. We have here, negative 7. Nung nagawa natin sigaw, multiply it by yung lahat ng divisor natin. Okay, may imaginary one. Pag dikitin na lang natin, that will become negative 7x. Negative, positive, that is negative. 7 times 6 is 42. Okay, so let's bring down. We have here, negative 7x, negative 42, or minus 42. Then, let's proceed with subtraction. Again, keep change, change. Change na dito, change din na dito, and change na dito. As you can see, negative 7x, so ba? Positive 7x. Cancel na ulit natin dito, so 0 lang ang sabi. Negative 42, plus positive 42, 0 lang din yung sabi. Dahil pera ka na, negative 42, sa So we have here the answer to 2x squared plus 5x minus 4 divided by x plus 6 is equal to 2x minus 7. Okay, ito pong nasa taas natin. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, let's have example number 2. x squared plus 5x minus 14 okay, divided by x minus 2. First step, standard form. Since the standard form is not, x squared plus 5x minus 14. Sa labas, ito divisor natin, x minus 2. Okay, next step number 3. Step number 3, so din lang natin yung dead, monkey, smells, bad na cycle. Letter T, we have the division. x squared divided by x. Yung first term lang po palagi. So, we have x squared divided by x. That is, okay, we have x na lang. Kasi imaginary one dito, x na lang po yung matita. Dito natin ikatapat yan. And then next is, multiply. Multiply natin ito, x times x, that is x squared. So, ikatapat natin dito, we have x squared. So, 0 na yung sagot doon. Magkaparehas sa positive, positive, kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot natin ay positive. Okay, 5 plus 2, that is 7. Then, bring down lang natin yung magkaparehas na variable, which is x. And then, bring down natin yung matitira, we have negative 14. Okay, so, nabring down na natin. Next natin, babalikan lang natin. So, we will repeat yung cycle natin. So, divide ulit tayo. Alin? Yung first. Yung first. Okay, we have 7x divided by x. As you can see, parehas na itong x. So, ibig sabihin, kapag minus natin, or nagsubtract tayo ng exponent, 0 na yung sagot. So, i-cancel na natin ang matitira ay 7. So, we have here, positive 7. So, positive 7. Next step natin, yung positive 7, yun naman po yung i-distribute natin. So, positive 7 times x, obviously, that is positive 7x. Pag-i-i-i lang natin. Then, positive 7 times negative 2, that is negative 14. Okay? Ipag-i-i-i na natin sa parenthesis. So, drop. Keep change, change. Here, change. Ito, keep lang palagi yung nasa taas. Change ulit natin to. Magiging negative. Ito, magiging positive. As you can see, positive 7x, negative 7x. Pag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-
Replace natin letter M. Multiply. Ito. Ito po ay multiply natin dito. Okay? So, 3 times 2, that is 6. Yung may katabing x, may katabing x. x times x, that is x squared. Next natin. Kailangan natin i-multiply yung 3. So, positive 4. We have positive 12x. Sana po yung x. May x po kasi dito. Kahit walang x si 4, i-bring down po natin yung x na katabing 3. Okay, next. Ibigay natin ito. Next step, ikulong na natin sa parenthesis. Again, kapag walang negative or positive dito, positive po yan. Subtract. Okay, keep change, change. Magiging positive, magiging negative, magiging negative. Okay, 6x squared, negative 6x squared. Magka parehas, magiging sign, cancel, zero na po yan. Negative 2x, negative 12x, parehas ng utang. So, ibig sabihin, kapag pinat natin yan, utang pa rin po yung magiging sagot. We have negative 14x. Next is, bring down. So, we have here negative 28. Okay, so we're done with subtraction. Nakisis na natin. And then, we're done with bring down. Bring down. Okay, letter B. Okay, letter B. Bring down. Okay, tapos na rin tayo bring down. So, babalik na po tayo yung dividing. So, alin na rin yung divide? Ito po nasa punahan. So, we have negative 14 x divided by 2 x. So, what? x x. Cancel na natin yan. Negative 14 divided by 3. We have negative 7. So, balik na natin sa taas. Negative 7. Next, itong negative 7, kailangan na natin i-multiply dito. So, magkakalang tayo. Negative 7, positive 2, negative 14. And then, may x po dito. Bring down natin. Negative 7, positive 4, negative 5. So, we have negative 20. Okay. Gulong na natin. Gulong na natin. So, that. Magiging plus. Positive, magiging positive. Magkaparehas ng number 14x, pero magtiba ng sign. Cancel, cancel, 0 na lang. Negative, positive, magkaparehas ng natin. Magtiba ng sign, cancel, cancel. So, 0 na lang. So, therefore, ang sabag natin dito ay, we have 3x minus 7. Ito na po yung final answer. Okay, so we're done. We have division of polynomials. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you're going to subutin nyo na yung inyong performance task. If you have any question, don't hesitate to message.